Hello and welcome to the final YouTube challenge. After seven weeks of intense competition, we're now down to the final three contestants fighting for that epic $100,000 prize and to call themselves the YouTube Show Champion. And for this extra special final, we've invited back all of the YouTube judges to have their say on who they think will be the next big YouTube gaming creator. This week, Arceus, Bebel, and Mikey had to create three different videos to best showcase themselves as content creators in games of their own choosing. Later in the show, we'll give you a chance to win some incredible prizes thanks to Intel and Asus ROG. But before we get to that, we've had some amazing content creators take part in the YouTube competition this season, so we couldn't resist bringing a few of them back one last time. For the start of our final challenge, our three finalists were tasked with collaborating with a previously eliminated contestant. Let's find out who they were paired up with. First up, it's meeting of the mics, but who will be the last mic standing on Survival Island? Survival Crash! Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is my honor to bring you into the season finale of Survival Craft. We have our final two contestants, Mikey and Mr. Mike. The mics teamed up. Oh, this is gonna be too powerful. He's back. Oh, it's good to see the old contestants back. This is a really cool challenge. I don't know who this last contestant is or who he thinks he is, but I'm winning. I love how this is like a reality show. It's so funny. I like the kind of like Big Brother Kardashian style cameras interjecting in between the shots too. That's cool. That must be the other last survivor. That's the other one. Why is he looking at the floor? What's he doing? Now look, I don't want to do this to y'all. But I need, I need to eat. eat. Hey, yo, who is that? L O L. You have got to be sneakier than that, my friend. Hey, why you have a sword in your hand? I think this is like a very good Minecraft video, but I want to see something unique in this. I couldn't figure out how to make a sword. That's why I have a stick. Yo, is he is he okay in the head? Like build a little spot, you know, live on this little island for now. Yo, that's kind of romantic. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'm a pro builder, so we can like, yep. How's this? How's that? How's that? Is it good? Now I'm gonna need my house to look better than this. Those extra sound effects really hit the joke home. If the viewer is a little sleepy while watching, like, oh, okay. It would appear that our contestants have chosen to work together. I wonder how long this alliance will last. And beginning to anticipate a bit of a dramatic ending to this. I'm gonna just put on some chicken for us and you know, we can eat and uh, catch some Z's, bro. So he's sleeping now? I'm gonna go and get that chicken. I need that chicken way more than he does. That's crazy. It's really your own, man. You can't trust anybody out uh, here, man. Mike, why did you eat all the chicken? I need to get out. Ah! Well, why would I believe you? Nobody else could eat it. It was, the, it was the creeper, I swear it was the creeper. No, no you're no, dead. No, 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 no. no, no. I'm gonna eat you instead then. I thought we were brothers. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. You, you looking like a, a bucket of chicken right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. To protect our ratings, we cannot show the rest of what happened. Looks like Mike is winning this season of Survival Craft. That was good. I love the context of the story added to it. That just adds so much more to the video. And the way that it was like slowly building up tension, I really enjoyed that. It felt like I was watching an actual TV show. and Something unique in it, but I feel overall it was like a normal Minecraft video, which I have already seen a lot of times on YouTube. I like that idea, and I clearly had fun doing it, so I think I'll give that an 8. I'm going to give this one an 8. I will give you 7.5. I'm going to give you a 9.5. Mikey kicks things off with a score of 33 points. This week, our judges' scores and the public votes at home from you guys will each count for 50% of our contestants' final scores, and together they'll make up the combined total and decide the winner. Next, it's a team up we didn't know we needed in our lives until right now. It's Bebo and Captain Deadme. Today we're competing in a Minecraft showdown. Joining me is Captain Deadmeat. Pause, just so you guys know, this is a seven stage competition. First level is lava parkour. We have five tries and whoever wins gets one point. Ooh, these, okay, these motion graphics are nice. Nice intro explains everything. Oh, that was so close. Oh, no, I fell in the lava. <laughs> That's one try for you. I fell, I, okay. The counter on the top left is so good as well. Without that, it would be so much harder to follow. The famous last words, honestly. Yeah, into the flames I go. Oh, me too. Oh no. No. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone 
every time. What? <laughs> Replays in that too? Okay, so I take round one. They moved through that kind of quickly. I couldn't really follow along too great. Level three is a diamond hunt. Whoever finds the diamond first gets one point. The music is also really nice. It goes with the video. Somewhere that we wouldn't like it's expect. Probably somewhere like right in our face when we first landed. Oh, I found it. Oh no, serious? Oh no. Did you escape? Where's your exits? I'm out. It's 2-1. Okay, I understood that. <laughs> Level four is a sea scavenge. Whoever finds all of the items first gets one point. We're looking for 10 sea pickles, 20 amethyst shards, one blossom, and a secret item. The editing, very right, good. Here we go. Pickles. Pickles, pickles. Uh, there was pickle. Come on. What break. I like our editing style. It's pretty fast. The way like the current, I think, YouTube algorithm works, like you have to make kind of fast videos. Pickle. It's the race to the finish! I haven't got the crystals yet! <laughs> oh, hang on, I heard a chest open. I think you might have just me. Uh, finished. 3-1! The final level is a PvP 1v1. Alright, let the battle begin. Go time. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> that, would, that would be it for me. I can't do this. It's over! It's over! No! It's over! Never, never, I no! <laughs> As punishment for losing, you're a Vegemite. This one's for you. Good luck. <coughs> I really enjoyed this video. Action packed in three and a half minutes. Got the point across really quickly at the beginning. Well, first of all, I feel like her and Kaz and Demi were so funny together. I don't know, man. I just, I didn't get too much from that video. It was kind of hard for me to follow along sometimes. So I, I really liked the video. I, I love the pace, but I feel like there could have been something more unique because like now that we are approaching like the finals, like a bit more element in the video would have helped. I'm going to give this video an eight. I think I'll have to give you a seven. Like it was definitely not bad. I'll give you also 7.5, yeah. Almost perfect. Perfect, but not quite. I'm giving, I'm giving a big score there. I'm giving a 9.5. Good luck in the rest of the competition. A score 32 for B-Bell puts her just below Mikey on the future leaderboard, but there's still plenty of time for things to change. Now it's over to Arceus, and it's up to him to save an old friend who's somehow trapped in the world of Fortnite. Just when we thought our journey was over, Another one begins. Arceus! Aspitz? Are you there? What's going on? I, I got sucked into Fortnite and I can't get out. I need your help! How's it possible? It's just so out of the box and I love it every time, man. Cause it's just Fortnite, but he makes it seem like it's so much more. You know you'll die forever if you die in game, don't you? Yeah, I'm well aware. Dude, the visuals and the story for this are great so far. And they get it across quite quickly at the beginning with it being epic. I hope the gameplay matches. That's a cool transition, man. Perhaps try asking that guy? Hey, state your name. Arceus? It's me, it's Aspitz. Nine cake. Uh, we're just gonna race for a bit. Everything is so nicely synced. Do you have any idea where the storm is right now? You have little time. Little time's all we need. Bro, the use of the sound? That was sick. <laughs> See you, Aspitz! He's inside the car, and he's also inside the game. Wow. The inclusion of this IRL footage is so cool. It like flows so seamlessly. How exactly did you get inside here in the first place? I just got a victory royale and suddenly everything around me started glitching. Next thing I knew, I got stuck inside here. <laughs> <laughs> Who edited that, bro? Incredible. This is great. This is suspenseful. <laughs> this is really Are serious you right have now. Two more time. Get out of there. You have to go. Ooh. Extra subtitles would have been great there. I don't know if I ran out of time because he's done the subtitles for Mancake for the rest of the video. That would have been really good. Come on, Aspects. Go die in us, Aspects. Stay with us. Oh, the music. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Love it. I'm going to pick his name for you. Are you? Come on, Aspets, come on! You got you. this, bro! Let's go! Ah, <laughs> let's go! Nice! Let's go, bro. Let's go man! <laughs> I have to applaud this man. <laughs>
<laughs> I have nothing negative to say about this video. I'm trying to think of anything that was bad. The story actually flowed really well this time. Incredible collab. Well done, fellas. His basic USP of creating his own storylines, I think he can he can apply it to any game. And that is super important if you want to sustain like a long, long-term career on YouTube. I don't even really know what to say because I just loved every second of this video. I think it's probably my favorite one so far out of the entire competition. And for that reason, I'm going to give this video a 10. I don't know what anybody else is gonna give him, but me, I'm giving him a 10, definitely. I really love the video. I'm gonna give him a 10. I'm gonna give you a 10. Well done, and good luck for the rest of the competition. Whoa, our first perfect score of the series. Congratulations, it has rocketed Arceus to the top of our leaderboard and gives him a seven point lead over Mikey. But with two more challenges to come, can he keep the top spot? If you fancy winning some awesome prizes from Asus, ROG and Intel, all you're gonna do is pick up your phone, open the YouTube app and record a YouTube short, letting us know who you're voting for in the YouTube final and why. Don't forget to include the hashtag YouTube show and share it with us at Yucha.show to be in with a chance to win some awesome prizes. The winner will take home an incredible Asus Zenbook laptop with Intel Arc GPU and an ROG Strix monitor. There's also some incredible Yucha merch bundles to be won. Just head on over to Yucha.show slash giveaways to find out how to enter. Our next challenge is YouTube Shorts. Our finalists must look back at the content from their previous challenges and create a short of the most exciting and viral moment. But Will the judges agree with their choices? First up, it's Bebel. Dude, just that intro was so epic. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, that was so well edited. There has been YouTube shorts of Fortnite IRL that have been successful in the past. Why do I wanna do this? Like, I'm yoinking this idea for my own <laughs> channel. Oh, and by the way, if I win, I would create my very first Fortnite rap song. <laughs> he's, he's choking me. Let's go. You really thought I wouldn't do it? This time for a Fortnite challenge to win a style. Find yourself Bro, an animal. It might what? take a little while. Dodge a bullet. It's still a banger. People out. Wow, this, this? This was good. I think just something to keep in mind is that like, you know, as you scroll through the YouTube shorts on a, on a mobile, which I believe is where most of the viewership comes from, you have to remember that people can really just, you know, switch up if they're not enjoying something. And I think it kind of got lost at 20 seconds. To me, that's like two different really good shorts. Those them were separate, like those were good. Only thing I would say is gameplay needed to be a little bit longer as it was very, very quick cuts to each kill. But I could see this going viral as a short. I really could. I think if you took the first part of this, it could be successful. I don't know if the rest of it fits in the short format. I will give it a seven. Yeah, I'd give that a nine. So for the short today, baby, I'm gonna give you a seven. I think I'm gonna give this a 9.5. Very well done. 32 and a half points from the judges for Bebel puts her a total of 64 and a half points on the leaderboard so far. It's a return to full guys for RCS, our second contestant hoping to create an unforgettable YouTube show. All right, so today we are going to be accomplishing the second row of the Fall Guys Bingo. Fall Guys content is doing well. Good job! We made it! Yes! We gotta get a solo win. Uh, no, 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 no! We did it! Bro, what? How did he qualify? He was for sure dead. Oh yeah, we forgot to do one more challenge. Get hit by a giant fruit. Should be easy. I happen to love this song. I've used that song in my own content before, so he's gonna get an extra point for that. I'm not sure how I would feel if I scrolled across this on shorts. I don't necessarily see it being a crazy viral standalone short clip. The big part about a good short is the ending, and I think your ending was funny. I think this short could have a possibility of going viral. Overall, great YouTube short. 
Arceus, great job on this one. I think it was pretty concise as the storyline goes. I think this could potentially spark a viral moment. And I think because of that, to Arceus today, I'm going to give you an 8.5. I'm going to give you a 7.5 for this one. I guess I could give it a 6. You know, it's a 6 with that song. I think I'm going to have to give this one a 9. 31 points keeps Arceus at the top of the leaderboard. And with $100,000 on the line, he'll be desperate to stay there. And finally, it's Mikey. Does he have what it takes to create a short but could top the YouTube? YouTube trending charts. Let's find out. I'm the strongest in Rumbleverse, but I'm only as strong as you. You control me. Look at your muscles, weakling. Come back when you're stronger. You have two hours. <laughs> yeah, and the only way that I can have enough power is to mix this potion. <laughs> I love this clip, dude. <laughs> I feel powerful. This is exhilarating, but it looks like I skipped leg day. It's always good to make YouTube content oh making fun of yourself. Down there, if I pull this off, oh my god! Get up! See me! See me! Hold on, can I hit those springs? Oh shoot! Yo, can I do it again? Yeah! <laughs> Yo, if he doesn't die when we hit the ground, bro, I'm closing up. He didn't die. I still don't understand how he didn't die, bro. I like that. He incorporated an interesting story, self-deprecating humor. He's a funny guy. I don't know if I would describe it as a viral moment, but it was definitely creative. But IRL is just so fun and more potential to go viral. I lost interest when the gameplay came out, if I'm honest with you. I think he did a great job of introducing some kind of like story at the start. Amazing edits throughout. I could see this doing well because of how insane it is. I've never seen someone hit the bouncers twice and go in freaking space and back. And the guy still didn't die. Like such a hype moment. I'll give it a seven. I need it to be a shorter video and faster pace. So I have to give it an eight for that reason. I don't know if this would be a viral moment, but still a great piece of content. I'll give you an eight here today for the short Mikey. I'm going to give Mikey a 9.5. A score of 32 and a half points for Mikey means that the gap between him and Arceus has been reduced to just five and a half points. So it's still all to play for with one more round of content to be judged. And as we bring our final challenge to a close, it's time for our contestants to let loose. Arceus be better Mikey were free to express themselves however they want as we got them to create a video with no challenges and no restrictions. Let's see how they got on. First up, it's Arceus, who's used using Minecraft to share a very important story. Uh-oh. Disasters? Earth. The very planet in which we call home. A home to millions of flora and fauna. So dramatic. Oh, is this like one of those, like, save the planet commercials? Never finding a place to stay somehow and this is awesome. Great opener. I'm, I'm in. I want to find out. I want to keep watching. I love this guy. He definitely is going to be huge. Mark my words. We are all equally at fault. Trash is thrown almost everywhere. Greenhouse gases flood the skies. Sad but true. And all we do is watch. Many animals have gone extinct. Oh, poor turtles. Oh, polar bears. This was not the tone I was expecting, to be honest with you. Let us start by building sustainable houses and using eco-friendly materials in-game. Oh, okay. So he's trying to make an example in-game, which might be an example outside of game, I'm, I'm assuming. Show your builds to the world. And if you can, act in real life too. That's really dope. I like using Minecraft as a way to emulate the real world and, you know, talk about issues that we currently face. That's sick. That's, that's really creative. Let us work together for our planet. Then it said hashtag save our planet. Well, that actually needs to happen. I was just not expecting a save our planet thing for his final video, to be honest, yeah. but good message. A little different from his usual style. Found it really cool going from IRL to Minecraft, but talking about the same message. That's just really awesome. Using a gameplay to educate the current generation. I think the originality of the idea, I loved it. I would have loved to see more of how you made these houses, like your process, so that people could be more determined or motivated to do that outside of Minecraft. I felt the pacing could have maybe been a bit faster. I think in the modern day, it probably could lead to a little bit of abandonment because, you know, attention spans do be a little lower these days. So I think I'm going to give this video a 7. So I would give this video a 5 out of 10. Great message, Arceus. We're going to give the video a 7 out of 10. Arceus, today I am going to score you a 9 for today.
today. A score of 28 points from our judges has thrown this competition wide open again. But can the other two contestants take advantage of Arceus's late stumble? Bebel requires 35 points to overtake Arceus to be on the top of the leaderboard. But does she have what it takes to become a future champion or is she an imposter? Let me tell you about the suspicious disappearances of not one with two different crewmates. Oh, Among Us. After being called in for a mandatory community service, they have landed themselves a crewmate position for the night. But little did they know, they signed up with a murderer in the building. I like the storytelling. I love this concept. Can you tell me where you were around 8.15 this evening? At 8 o'clock, I had inside to begin my duties when I ran into Lyman outside Shields. We spoke for two minutes, but he seemed to be in a rush somewhere. I think he was acting out his play again, who knows? I think that's all that happened, right before I heard those stinking alarms go off. Thank you for your time. Please don't speak to anyone else. I'll be back. I love how she's dressed as a detective. Y'all know I like the costumes. Hello, Red. Please explain to me what you did from leaving your house to when the alarms went off. Well, if you must know, while I was browsing the cameras, I did see Lyman leaving the navigation room. Oh, that's a murder scene. Well, well, well. Who do we have here? Mr. Lyman. I thought I might have seen Mustard. No, it might have been Sai. I'm not really sure. But when I went towards navigation, I saw something on the <gasps> right Oh. What if that was me? So I went back and saw it was a body. Sussy activities. I am the detective on this case. Can you tell me where you were up to when the alarm went off? My first report was in the storage. Also ran into Violet. Uh, from there, I went back to the cafeteria where I didn't see anyone else to go to the med bay. And that's when I heard the alarm. Is it none of them? I'm so confused. Okay, so you only saw Violet today and no one else? Hmm, interesting. Cinematic shorts as well have been used. Extra marks for that. Thanks. Stay here. Oh my, it's red. I let myself get caught. And you'll find out why soon enough. I thought it was Lyman the whole time. Yeah, I thought it was Lyman. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the story. But I'm not sure it's over yet. I thought the editing was good. The story had me, but I don't know if I like the ending because it, it was confusing. We were really building to something and then Red's just done it. He was acting sus though. One thing that I do like about the video is that to get everybody's witness commentaries as a detective like Sherlock Holmes and things like that. I will say though, because it was done that way, it did kind of showcase you a little less. I'm not hooked to the video. It, it's visually great, but th there was nothing that made me go, whoa. That was really unique. It was cool how we got like everyone's perspective and the voiceovers, the characters they were playing. I really like that part. For this video, I'd have to give it a five out of 10. I am expecting something next level. So yeah, six from my side. For this particular video of Among Us, I will have to give you an eight. We're gonna give B-Bell an 8.5 for the Among Us murder mystery. Sadly, B-Bell's performance was a bit sus and a score of 27 and a half points isn't enough to dislodge Arceus from the top. So it's now all up to Mikey. Can he do it? Either way, this is gonna be fire. Oh my God, frick you, Tommy. You, you know you're not good at the game, dude. <laughs> the classic trash talk. Oh, you can't. Wow. Oh my God. Stop making excuses. Dad, 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 there's a spider. Call the this guy has phenomenal energy. I'm to add, this should work. I'm so. What is going on? It is so chaotic. Handle it. I'll see you later. <laughs> Oh my, yep, you're done, you're done. Well, the game is smashing spiders. Oh, okay. Is this whole game just spiders? <laughs> no, no. The intro was crazy, the energy is crazy. Editing, amazing. I'm, I'm loving this. Shurikens, shurikens. Every time I get a new weapon, I'm going to make a challenge with it. Three spider kills of shurikens. Oh, good. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Hello. Oh, die, die, die. Oh, that's one. It's kind of hard. Die, die. Show thyself. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, I thought he was gonna stay there. I didn't know it was gonna move. See, I can't be folded like this. That man Vic is gonna take points. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I ain't gonna take points. What's this, hairspray? Another weapon? Flamethrower. Oh my gosh. Love the chaos in this video. I love the editing. I love the chaotic shakes. Oh, it was more spiders in there. 
<laughs> and I bet you that exterminator did something with them spiders. I promise you, <laughs> eat better. I paid good money for. <laughs> oh my God! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! So I have to confess this, out of all the videos I watched today, this is my absolute favorite. Everything was just phenomenal. I really like this video. The whole ad thing of getting exterminate and everything, I feel like that was really good. That was really difficult for me to watch because I hate spiders. <laughs> but it was really funny at the same time. I always know that his edits are usually chaotic and a whole lot. For this video and for this game specifically, it definitely fit. Mikey's energy is unmatched. I don't think anyone is as energetic as him in the world. So. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think last episode you set the bar so high for me and I think today on this VOD video, I have to give a score of around an 8.5. So I am gonna rate this video a nine because it's a finale, I have to be strict, you know? <laughs> so for Mikey, we're gonna give him a nine out of 10. I give this video a 10 out of 10. I really like this one. <laughs> and he has done it. I cannot believe it with a combined score of 102 points from our judges. Mikey ends up sitting at the top of the final leaderboard going into the public vote. But it's now down to you. Voting is open right now. Head on over to youtube.show slash vote. Your votes are so important. It will make up 50% of the contestant scores. You are helping decide the winner of future season and one and someone will be getting a hundred thousand dollars voting is open this week until wednesday 6 a.m bst so even more time to get those votes in tell your friends tell your families get them all to vote this is so important make sure to check out all of the contestants challenges videos in full over on their channels we'll leave them in the description and in the comments you can follow us at youtube show on social media and sign up to the youtube newsletter to win an incredible mystery bundle of prizes from intel to see the final results make sure you're subscribed as we'll be going live next Saturday to share the results. I cannot wait to see you on Saturday. It's going to be incredible. I'll see you then.